Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you one of the easiest ways to color grade your photos using the built in color lookup feature in Photoshop. So, this feature is available in all versions above CS6, and you can find it if you go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Color Lookup. And this will create a new color lookup adjustment layer. Now, what color lookup tables are is essentially a data file or preset that allows you to transform one range of input colors into another range of output colors. So colors are made up of all different red, green, blue, percentages and channels and all that. But for this simple tutorial, all you need to know is it takes one input and it transforms it into another. So it's a great way to get a quick, repeatable color effect all stored in one file. So when you're on this adjustment layer, you should see in the adjustment properties a couple different drop down menus for you to choose from. And here they have a whole bunch of presets and different names for them. And they are essentially an entire color effect built into one preset. Now some of these are nice and subtle. Some of these have a bit more of a powerful effect. But my recommendation is to find one that suits the mood and color that you're looking for and also fits well on your photo. Now when you're working with ones that are a bit more strong like this bright blue one, you might want to adjust the opacity of the adjustment layer a bit to make the effect a bit less strong. And you can also try out experimenting with putting this on different blending modes. So let's say I put it on soft light, I get a bit more of a contrasted blue look. Or if I put it on screen, I get more of a soft and bright look and I can still adjust the opacity from there. So like something like this, late sunset, I would maybe experiment with the opacity and blending mode, whereas something like one of these Fuji or Kodak film looks are nice and subtle and they just give you a bit more of that softer vintage vibe. There's also these abstract ones which are a bit more strong, so you have things like pastel which kind of turn your photo into this abstract pastel effect, or this crazy black and white that's very strong, but they've organized some of these more abstract effects under this table. Now there are options to create and load your own color lookup tables and how to do that is let's say you had an effect that you created with multiple adjustment layers like I had a curves layer and then a black and white layer on, an, on a blending mode. If you actually hold shift and grab all of those layers and put them into a group you can then go to file export color lookup tables and then just using a quality of high should work well in most all cases. You can export the color lookup table in different formats and then click on load 3D lookup table and then find it on my desktop. I can actually use it on whatever else photo. However, that's basically how you use color lookup tables. And for the beginners, essentially you have all these built in color presets for you to just place right on your photo with one step not have to create them with a bunch of multiple adjustment layers by hand and you can play around with the opacity and blending modes if you need to or just keep them how they look straight out of the color lookup adjustment so if you guys enjoyed this video definitely leave a like on it below leave me a comment what you thought if you want to check out more photoshop tutorials check them out on the playlist on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all new creative type of videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.